Second on Money Matters this morning, Silver Airways is testing new fares between Jacksonville and Key West, and the Florida Senate will consider block tuition for universities. Jane King's joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. Happy Monday to you. So what can you tell us about this, this plan moving through Florida Senate that would require all 12 state universities to adopt this, this new tuition policy? Yes, and this would be by the fall of 2018. So basically, it is a move that would require undergraduates pay a flat tuition rate per semester rather than be billed on the current credit hour basis. Now, the Orlando Sentinel says the big dilemma here is how to move to a block tuition system without financial penalizing students, also at the same time providing incentives for them to take enough courses to graduate in four years and still not hurting the university's revenue. So a lot of uh, needles to be threaded here, but it is one thing they're at least going to attempt to do, it sounds like. Jane, the tech industry really pushing back on the visa program today. Sure are. In fact, uh, they have filed some legal actions already this morning. So this is about 100 tech companies. I mean, these are the biggies. Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft all have signed on to this legal action. Uh, they're basically calling uh, the travel ban from the Trump administration uh, illegal and unconstitutional. And uh, these tech companies uh, do um, will be fighting against the Department of Justice. Uh, there expect to be lots of filings coming later today uh, on this. So uh, we're certainly going to watch uh, that story as it develops later today. Jane, I'm paying especially close attention to this next story because my sister <laughs> is getting married in the Keys in oh, June. Well, so what go. is this yeah. about Silver Airways slashing prices then from Florida cities to Key West? Yes, some of these flights are being cut as much as 50%. So flights from Jacksonville purchased 21 days in advance are $129 one way. Uh, the executives at Silver Airways say they're testing this. They're going to experiment with it through May. And if it works pretty well, that could be expanded to other markets and extended. Ooh, sounds good. All right. And Jane, some yeah. of the first apps <laughs> may become obsolete with Apple's next update. And well, that's what we hear. Uh, Apple could purge tens of thousands of these old iOS apps. Now, Mashable has noted a change in Apple's compatibility warning that suggests the future versions of iOS will not support some of the older software. So among those potentially impacted would be some of the early hits that really fueled the rise of mobile gaming and the app economy. They may not be adaptable to the new iOS uh, 10 version uh, that's being uh, displayed right now. All right, Jane, thank you. We'll okay, see you tomorrow thanks. morning.